بسم اللہ الرحمٰن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم اکرام الحق اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی یوٹیوب چینل انگلش ود اکرام ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ نریشن ڈائریکٹ اسپیچ اینڈ ان ڈائریکٹ اسپیچ اینڈ بفور آئی اسٹارٹ ٹوڈے سیشن آپ سے ایک بات میں کہوں گا کہ جب بھی آپ کوئی ویڈیو دیکھتے ہیں دس از کمپلسری فار یو کہ ویڈیو کے نیچے آپ کمنٹ ضرور کیا کریں دیز یور کمنٹس آر ویری مچ امپورٹنٹ عام طور پہ ہم یہ بات نہیں کرتے لیکن دس از کمپلسری دس از آبلیگیٹری فائی کہ آپ ویڈیو کو لائک بھی کر لے کریں وائل واچنگ جسٹ پریس تھم دیٹ دیٹ لائکس اے بٹن اور ساتھ نیچے کمنٹ ضرور کیا کریں ودر یو وانٹ ٹو کمپلیمنٹ یو وانٹ ٹو اپریشیٹ یو وانٹ ٹو پوائنٹ آؤٹ سرٹن تھنگ اینی سجیشن اینی تھنگ بٹ یور کمنٹ از ویلیوبل فار اس دیٹ از اے سورس آف موٹیویشن Today's session is about narration. I have discussed almost all the parts of speech, passivization, uh, then tenses, structure, their identification, senses, uses. Now narration. And narration is very much important for, for FEC students especially. In their paper, narration is a question and in general, the FSC students are very interested in that it is difficult and tricky so I will try to make narration as easy as possible it is easy 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 as easy as possible And there are two ways of narration. Whenever we narrate something, there are two ways. Narration is of uh, two ways. Direct, direct speech and indirect speech. What is direct speech? When two persons are talking to each other face to face. That is direct speech. When two people are talking to each other face to face, that is direct speech. And when that speech is quoted by someone and someone else, to in front of some other person that is called indirect speech and uh, during the process there are certain changes which occur jab do bande aapas mein baat karte hain unki baaton ko jab koi teesra banda ja ke kisi dusre ke samne bayan karta hai to there are certain changes kuch tabdili hoti wahi changes humne seekhni to this is narration part 1 today this is narration part 1 in which i will discuss the rules for a uh, simple sentences you know there are different kinds of sentences simple sentences interrogative sentences exclamatory sentences optative sentences interrogative sentences so there are different kind of sentences that are uh, for narration for direct and indirect speech today i am going to discuss only simple sentences so let's start direct speech is face to face speech and but but uh, when that face to face speech is narrated to someone else in front of somebody else by someone else there are certain changes which occur to us duran kuch tabdili hoti hai tense change ho jata hai even urdu mein bhi tabdili hoti hai for example main kehta hu apne student ko khade jao niklo class se bahar this is my face to face talk آپ کوئی دوسرا بچہ جا کے کسی اور سے کہتا ہے کہ سر نے اس سے کہا تھا کہ وہ کھڑا ہو جائے باہر نکلے دیر آر سرٹن چینجز اسپیشلی چینج آف پرو ناؤن اینڈ چینج آف ٹینس اردو میں اگرچہ ٹینس کا وہ نہیں ہے لیکن پرو ناؤن اردو میں بھی چینج ہوتا ہے انگلش میں اسپیشلی عام طور پہ ہم اپنی اسپوکن لینگویج میں اور ریٹن لینگویج میں ہم ٹینس کا خیال نہیں رکھتے ان ان ڈائریکٹ اسپیچ So there is certain structure of direct speech and indirect speech. This is the sentence of direct speech. Whenever you quote something, aap likhte hain, specially, to aap ko jab direct speech ko quote karenge, likhenge, to this is uh, the, the structure. You have to write the quoted uh, speech in, in between inverted commas. He said, I am busy. He said, I am busy today. So you have to write this. This is it means that this is the exact direct speech, exact uh, saying of that dead person. Usne kaha ki main masroof hu aaj. So I am busy today. Ko isko humne inverted commas mein likha hai. It means this is exact wording. Kaid Azam said, and whatever he said, whatever you want to quote, you have to write that in between the inverted commas. 
और अगर आप इन्वर्टेड कामाज नहीं यूज़ करते आप उसकी बात को इनडायरेक्टली कहते हैं तो फिर आप कुछ चेंजेस होती हैं जो आपको वही चेंजेस आपने सीखनी है तो वट आर द चेंजेस विच आर कंपल्सरी विच आर नेसेसरी वाइल चेंजिंग अ सेंटेंस फ्राम इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच इन टू फ्राम डायरेक्ट स्पीच इन टू इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच दिस इज द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ही सेट कामा इन्वर्टेड कामाज बिगिन आई एम बिजी टू डे इन्वर्टेड कामाज क्लोज आपने एग्जैक्ट बात को कामर्स के अंदर लिखना है तो ये जो पार्ट है कामर्स से बाहर इसको कहते हैं रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच आउटसाइड द कामर्स दिस इज रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच दीज आर इन्वर्टेड कामर्स और दिस पार्ट इन बिटवीन द इन्वर्टेड कामर्स दिस पार्ट इज कॉल्ड इन्वर्टेड रिपोर्टेड स्पीच क्योंकि जब मैं रूल डिस्कस करूंगा तो मैं रिपोर्टिंग और रिपोर्टेड का वर्ड यूज करूंगा रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच रिपोर्टेड स्पीच दिस इज प्रोनाउन हाउ डू वी चेंज द प्रोनाउन जब आप इसको इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच में चेंज करते हैं तो सबसे पहली चेंज ये कि प्रोनाउन चेंज हो जाता है इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज में दूसरी चेंज कि टेंस चेंज हो जाता है तो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस द चेंज ऑफ प्रोनाउन एंड चेंज ऑफ टेंस राइट रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच एंड रिपोर्टेड स्पीच How do we change pronoun? Change of pronoun. The first change that is change of pronoun. For example, the same sentence. He said, "I am busy today." First of all, the first change. Before that, we remove the comma. Comma is removed, and comma की जगह पे हम that choose करते हैं. This is the first change. First of all, we remove this comma. He said comma. This comma is removed, and at the place of this comma, we use that. I am talking about simple sentences. The first kind of sentences, simple sentences. Today, I will discuss only simple sentences. Then, how do we change pronoun? यहाँ से यहाँ तक पहुँचे आपके ये इन्वर्टेड कामाज हट जाते हैं और हाउ डू वी चेंज प्रोनाउन इफ देर इज फर्स्ट पर्सन प्रोनाउन इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच इट इज चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच ही सेट I am busy today. तो first person pronoun, you know, first per person pronouns are I and V. If there is first person pronoun in the reported speech, it will be changed according to the subject of the reporting speech. यानी ये ये बन जाता है. He said that ये first person ये. He said that he first person pronoun is changed according to the subject of the reporting speech. If there is first person pronoun or your V in the reported speech, it will be changed according to the subject. If there is second person pronoun, जो कि U होता है, if there is second person pronoun over here in the reported speech, it will be changed according to the object of the reporting speech. For example, if there is U over here, it will be changed according to the object. Object of the reporting speech. The next one is third person pronoun, which are he, she, it, and they. If there is third person pronoun over here in the reported speech, it will not be changed. This is change of pronoun. This is change of pronoun. After that, uh, I will discuss how do we change the tense. After this, uh, I will discuss the change of tense. Change of tense. How do we change the tense? If in, in direct speech there is simple present tense which is V1, 
I have discussed all the tenses, the structure, everything. If there is simple present tense, it will be changing to simple past V2. For example, I will, I will give one example for each change. For example, he said, I am ill. He said that he was ill. Present indefinite tense will be changed into past indefinite. Right? Change of pronoun I have discussed. He said, I am ill. He said, commas removed, that. Then he uh, is a, I am ill. I first person pronoun will be changed according to the subject. I will write some examples after discussing the rules. The next one, pause continues. Uh, present continues. V1 plus ing. Is MR. Is MR plus V1 plus ing. If there is present continuous tense in direct speech, it will be changed into past continuous was were plus V1 plus ing. For example, if the sentence is, he said, I am doing my work. He said that he was doing his work. Right? He said, I am doing my work. He said that, again, there is first person pronoun. It will be changed according to the subject. And then the tense is, I am doing. Then in continuous tense, it will be changed into past continuous. He was doing his work. The next one is future indefinite. It's simple, will plus V1, it would be changed into would. He said that I will do my work. He said that he would, will is uh, will be changed into would. The next one is past indefinite, V2. When there is past indefinite or simple past tense in the direct speech, it will be changed into past perfect. And what is past perfect? Head plus V3. For example, if the sentence is, he said, I was ill. He said, comma, inverted commas begin. I was ill, inverted commas close. It will be changed into, he said that he had been ill. Had, helping verb, and been is the third form of, this is main verb here. Another sentence, he said that I worked day and night. He said that he had worked day and night. A simple past tense will be changed into past perfect, right? Simple past V2 and past perfect head plus V3, right? The next past continues. Past continues again, which is was, were, was, were plus V1 plus ing. It will be changed into past perfect continuous, which is head plus been plus v1 plus ing. Past continuous tense will be changed into past perfect continuous. For example, he said, I was doing my work. He said that he had been doing his work. If there is past continuous tense in uh, the reported speech, of direct speech, it will be changed into past perfect continuous, had been plus v1 plus ing, right? The next is, if there is present perfect, has, have, plus v3, it will be changed into past perfect, had plus v3 again. Simple past tense and present perfect tense, both the tenses will be changed into past perfect while changing a sentence from direct speech into indirect speech. For example, he said, I have completed my work. He said that he said that he had completed his work. Simple uh, uh, present perfect tense will be changed into past perfect. The next past perfect will remain unchanged. And same is the case with past perfect continuous. Both the tenses will remain unchanged. Then there are certain models, certain helping rules which are changed. Is that clear? Let me repeat once more. Simple present. Present indefinite tense will be changed into past indefinite. Present continuous will be changed into past continuous. Uh, future indefinite will will be changed into would. Past, uh, past indefinite will be changed into past perfect. Past continuous will be changed into past perfect continuous. Present perfect will be changed into past perfect. And past perfect and past perfect continuous, these tenses will remain unchanged.
the next there are certain modal auxiliaries which are changed for example if there is may it will be changed into might can into could will shall and should these three auxiliary verbs will be changed into would right then the next change is change of certain adverbs change of adverb and there are certain words which are changed while changing a sentence from direct speech into indirect speech for example if this it will be changed into date these will be changed into those here will be changed into there now will be changed into then right then today will be changed into that day the next tomorrow will be changed into the next day and uh, yesterday will be changed into the previous day the previous day or the last day thus it will be changed into so good morning good evening good afternoon good noon this will be changed into greeted he said good morning sir he greeted his sir so these are certain adverbs or uh, there are certain words which are changed while changing a sentence from direct speech into indirect speech okay i have discussed the structure what is the structure of direct speech and how do we change a sentence from direct speech into indirect speech what are the changes first the first change that is we remove the comma and at the at that uh, at the place of that comma we use date comma ke jagah pe date use hota hai inverted commas fishu ud jate hain uske baad the first thing that is change of pronoun हम प्रोनाउन कैसे चेंज करते हैं इफ देर आर फर्स्ट पर्सन प्रोनाउन दे विल बी चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग स्पीच आई विल गिव सम एग्जाम्पल्स देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज चेंज ऑफ टेंस प्रोनाउन के बाद टेंस कैसे चेंज होता है आई हैव डिस्कस द चेंज ऑफ टेंस इन डिटेल एंड देर आर सर्टन वर्ड आर सर्टन एट वर्ड विच आर चेंज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम एग्जाम्पल्स this is a simple sentence he said i do my work and one thing that you must keep in your mind for the change of tense there should be simple past tense in the reporting speech reported speech ke andar change as uh, indirect speech mein change karte waqt tense sirf usi surat mein change hoga jab reporting speech mein simple past tense hoga if there is simple present tense or future indefinite tense the tense in the reported speech will not be changed this is condition for the change of tense reporting speech may over here if there is simple past tense past indefinite tense then in that very case we will change the tense if there is he says or he will say in this in these cases the tense will not be changed pronoun change honge adverbs or certain words change honge lekin tense change nahi hoga let me let's change this sentence he said the first thing we will remove this comma we use that he said that these inverted commas are also removed then the first thing sub ja pronoun as i have discussed the rule that when there is first person pronoun this is first i and we first person it will become the subject of the reporting speech to kya ban jayega he he then i do my work v1 this is present indefinite tense and we have discussed that present indefinite 
present indefinite or simple present tense is changed into past definite. He did. Again, first person, my, it will become his work. He said that he did his work. Right? One more example. They said to me, you are creating disturbance. They said to me, now the first thing, we will remove the comma, they said to me that, now this is second person, it will become object of the reporting speed. They said to me that I, you will become I. Here it's an objective case. When it will go over here as a subject, it will take it ob uh, subjective case. They said to me that I, now this is you were creating. This is past continuous tense. And past continuous tense is turned into past perfect continuous. It will become that I had been creating disturbance. They said to me that I had been creating disturbance, right? One more example. She said, she says, I have completed my work. She says, I have completed my work. How do we change this sentence? She says that, first person again, it will become the subject. She says that she, now the tense will not be changed. The tense, the tense will remain the same. Why? Because there is simple present tense in the reporting speech. Now it will be, she says that she has completed her work. There will be no change, no change of tense. She says that she has completed her work. She has completed her work. One more example. She said he was waiting for me yesterday. She said he was waiting for me yesterday. How do we, how, how will we change this sentence? She said that, now this is third person pronoun. And I have told you that third person pronoun will not be changed. She said that he was waiting. Which tense is this? This is past continuous tense. And past continuous tense will be changed into past perfect continuous. She said that he had been waiting for her. First person again will become the subject. She said that he had been waiting for her the last day or the previous day. Right? First of all, she said, comma is removed that inverted commas removed then we'll, we will come over here it's third person pronoun and third person pronouns are not changed she said that he was waiting his uh, past continuous tense this tense will not be changed uh, this tense will be changed into past perfect continuous it will be had been waiting for her the last day she said that he had been waiting for her the last day okay the next one is they said we will leave for Karachi tomorrow. They said, comma is removed, that, inverted commas removed, that again first person, it will become the subject. They said that they will, will be changed into would. They said that they would leave for Karachi the next day. Tomorrow will be changed into the next day. They said that they would leave for Karachi the next day. The next example, he said to me, I am busy today. He said to me, again first person will become the subject, that he, present definite, will, will be changed to past indefinite. He said to me that I was busy that day. I was giving the practice of this adverb. Today is changing to that day. He said to me that he was busy that day. The next example, the person said